Put two lenses together and you build yourself a telescope. One lens focuses, the other collimates. The former we know how to line, and the latter I'll show you now. Collimated light neither diverges nor converges. It simply propagates forever. In theory. And at least to some approximation, that is true in practice. To generate collimated light from a diverging beam, you can use a lens with its focus coinciding with the focus of the diverging beam. A handy tool for checking the collimation state of a laser beam is a shearing interferometer. The shear plate inside the interferometer has a slight wedge and a certain thickness, which produces two slightly displaced reflected beamlets that can inform on the collimation state of a laser beam very accurately. The important value is the orientation and spacing of the interference fringes on the diffuser window at the top. In short, collimated light produces straight lines, while divergent or convergent beams leave the lines tilted with respect to the beam direction. Should you see curved lines, then you might have some serious aberrations in the optical path. Let's try it out with this shear plate that I put in a handy interferometer. I place the shear plate directly after my misaligned telescope, which is basically two lenses that are roughly 2f apart. 2f is lab slang and means the sum of both focal lengths, first lens and second lens. The second lens here can be moved along the beam path. And as a side note, make sure the shear plate matches your expected beam diameter. Untilting the fringes by moving the second lens is then a piece of cake. A cheaper alternative is this arrangement. Use two posts, each with two holes at the same location. Place the posts such that the upper holes are aligned with the center of your beam. If your beam is diverging, you will see the lower beamlet on the second post displaced. In contrast to a shear plate, you will have to account for quite some space in your setup though. Collimated light is necessary for a lot of applications, and so is beam expansion. It's definitely worth having either a shear plate or some other good method to check collimation. See you next time.